Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a tRNA with the anticodon as follows would base pair with which codon and here is um, five answers to choose from as usual I recommend you to pause video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation so imagine that here we have double stranded DNA and here we have transcription bubble and here we have messenger RNA transcribed from this uh, double-stranded DNA and uh, in order to make this messenger RNA uh, template strand of the DNA would be used so uh, in order to solve this problem basically you have to know that uh, new strand of the messenger RNA would be made from 5 prime end to 3 prime end continuously and knowing this it is easy to solve this problem so imagine that this is prokaryotic cell uh, the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes is that in prokaryotes even when messenger RNA transcription is not finished uh, ribosome can attach to this free end and translation can start in uh, eukaryotes as you know uh, eukaryotes has uh, nucleus and messenger RNA have to be fully transcribed first then introns have to be cut away and this uh, mature messenger RNA uh, with some more modifications like uh, 5 prime cap and a poly A tail have to leave nucleus so let's imagine that this is uh, bacteria and here we have uh, ribosome this is large subunit and this is small subunit and large subunit has three sides one is A side another one is P side and the last one E side and now imagine that uh, here in the A side we have uh, tRNA and now basically we have uh, to think uh, orientation of this tRNA if you would mentally stretch this uh, single stranded RNA like this You have to understand that uh, messenger RNA and tRNA also have to have orientation just like a double-stranded DNA. For example, if double-stranded DNA has 3' end here, another strand would have um, 5' end here, and 5' end here, and 3' end here. So, two strands of the DNA go in different directions and when two RNA would make bounding this uh, RNA also have to be oriented in different directions so if we have 5 prime end here this uh, end of the tRNA have to be 3 prime and this one have to be 5 prime so now we have 3 prime end here and 5 prime here so now we have uh, correct orientation and uh, we know that uh, sequence of the anticodon is 5 prime and UCG so here we have 5 prime and so uh, anticodon would have here U C and G and that means that this codon here, so messenger RNA, uh, would have codon that is going to be complementary to this sequence, or we can say that the sequence of the anticodon would be complementary to the sequence of the codon. So uh, this uh, first uracil, and this is going to be first uracil 
of this uh, tRNA uh, would be pair with adenine and cytosine would be pair with guanine and guanine would be pair with cytosine and if this is going to be first, second and third position of the anticodon here we have first, second and third position of the codon so first, second and third and first, second and third here so let's now check uh, our answers we have uh, two answers that uh, looks like correct this is answer C and D both of them give us correct orientation of the messenger RNA so uh, we have here uh, 5 prime end C G A 3 prime end so 5 prime end C G A 3 prime end also answer D give us uh, almost the same answer 5 prime end C G A but uh, this answer would give us only this variant and answer C would give us uh, 5 prime end C G G and uh, which answer to choose as you know this third position of the messenger RNA can be different and still uh, this tRNA would bring the same amino acid even if this third position of the codon uh, would be different so we now uh, have to find out if these two sequences of the codons would code for the same uh, amino acid and let's check it and here is the table this is table of codons of the messenger RNA and all messenger RNA here are oriented from 5 prime end to 3 prime end so let's find out uh, 5 prime end C G A 3 prime end so C second G so C G A so uh, this is arginine and C G G C G G also specifies the same amino acid so these two sequences here specify the same amino acid so different uh, sequences of the codon as you see this can be CGU this can be CGC this can be CGA or CGG all these four uh, sequences of the codon would specify the same amino acid and this is possible due to the fact that third position that we call wobble position of the codon can be different and still uh, the same tRNA can uh, attach to this sequence any of the sequences and would bring the same amino acid so as you see uh, the correct answer would be answer C and uh, once again uh, the same amino acid can be specified by different codons but one codon specify only one amino acid for example you wouldn't be able to find the same sequence anywhere here that specify different amino acid so once again uh, one amino acid can be specified by different sequences of different codons but one codon can only specify one amino acid and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye